This is DAPU7. An update to the situation at Yellowstone. In some of my past videos, I talked about how NASA had the SOFIA Observatory, Infrared Observatory, airborne over Yellowstone. A short time after that, we witnessed a 4.5 magnitude earthquake strike in this region. And ever since, there has been a pretty good swarm ongoing. The swarm continues up to within this past hour. And some of the more recent quakes here, well, this one right here, 99 minutes ago, 1.72, starting to move down in this direction. Swarm centralized here, but kind of creeping down this way. Now, what's important to note is that Yellowstone is said to erupt every 600,000 years. It has been 640. So this thing is 40,000 years overdue to erupt. Now, in terms of a caldera, there's three different pocket zones with the caldera that run through this area. You've got one that sits roughly up in this region, one that runs down into this region, and another one that swoops down even further down in this direction for another. Now, what you want to pay attention to here is how shallow and how far these quakes are, are moving. Now, in the past, I'd witnessed an event in Africa, in Atreyu, where these earthquakes that were around 10 kilometers deep, roughly, started uh, popping off and marching their way toward the caldera or top of a volcano, going straight toward it put out alerts, put out warnings. A few hours later, it did just that. Those quakes went all the way up to the top. It hit right at the top, and the thing erupted. So, in seeing a 4.5 magnitude quake in the Yellowstone region, it's something to pay attention to, especially that it, since it's still swarming here. These may not be big quakes, but these could very well be showing us that there's something going on between the faults or magma on the move underground. And we really don't want to see it, in my opinion, heading toward the caldera, which is from this road, between this road right here and the lake. This is where a lot of it sits with the caldera. And you can see that uh, right there, in when backed out, you can see there was another quake in Wyoming eight hours ago. This is south. This is on the southern flank of Yellowstone. Not situated up here by the swarm, but another one right here on the other side of this peak. So we do have some activity going on around here still. The swarm continues, and it's moving closer, ever so slightly, toward the caldera area, or, or where these three zones sit. But that is some of the latest information pertaining to Yellowstone. Wanted to get an update out there and let it be known that, yes, the swarm continues. Actually creeping a little closer toward the caldera. Something we're just going to have to keep an eye on. Something no one wants to see. The supervolcano erupt. But like I said, it is overdue. And I think it's time people start to chalk up a plan for such an event. We're going to talk about that and more tonight. Underground World News Live, Dabu 77, new time, 10.15 p.m. Eastern. I will be joined by End of the Stars. We'll get to hear what's going on over there in France. And I also want to give a shout out to those that are supporting me on Patreon. It is appreciated. I know some had questions about it. It's a dollar or more support a month. Uh, I know the tier set up starting at 10, but I think people thought that you had to do at least 10, and it's not the case. Just wanted to clarify that. And send out a big thank you to those that are backing me in everything I do. It's appreciated more than you know. And the reality is the only way I'm going to be able to take this to the next level is with the support of you guys. So, much love once again. I will leave links below. Hope to see you guys for Underground World News Live. Peace.